What's happening with teenagers in the United States is what happens with teenagers everywhere. Teenagers think that nothing will ever happen to them, that they're invulnerable. And people, people are having sex at younger and younger ages at a time in your life when you think nothing can happen to you. You're invincible. So what are the statistics right now for teenagers in the United States? In the United States, two teenagers are infected with HIV every hour of every day. It's mind-boggling. African American girls between the age of 24 and uh, 35, that's the number one cause of death of AIDS. What do you think yeah. about that? I'm, I'm going to tell you what I, what I think about it. Um, for me, for instance, when, I, when, I, when I'm in that moment, that heat of the moment thing, you know, if I have protection, cool. But if I don't, you know, cool. It's like, you know, actually, I, I live on the edge anyway. I mean, I don't even, I don't, I don't work on them. I think young people today just aren't getting the message about they're not seeing people dying in droves, you know, the way that they used to. And to some degree, they still see it as, you know, a gay man's, gay man's disease. Why is it spreading? I think a lot of it is people don't have the information. People haven't empowered themselves with the information. Because a lot of people don't have fathers or mothers that tell them. When I was 13 years old, I, I was born without a father. I don't have a, I didn't have a father in the house. But when I, when I graduated from sixth grade, a friend of mine by the name of Montel Gordon, his daddy, you know, told us to put condoms in our pocket just in case. Put them in our wallet just in case. That was before AIDS came out. I think they need to have better sex education classes in school because I mean, when I was in high school, they don't really talk too much about it. I mean, they talk about safe sex, but they don't talk about, like, the downfall of if you don't or how you can contract it or how many people don't practice safe sex. It's like wearing condoms. It's not it for me. It's like, for me, you know, I don't know you said that the girls, you were young and they get AIDS, but for me, it's sad but true. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But that's how I feel. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. If I'm, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't mess around too much anyway. You know. Historically, no epidemic has ever been controlled without a safe and effective vaccine. But I also know that it's going to be a lot of years before we have a safe and effective AIDS vaccine. It takes on average 30 to 40 years to develop vaccines for viral epidemics. We're right in the thick of things. And I know that the only way to control the epidemic while we're working to make a vaccine is for each person to decide that they need to know if they are infected with HIV. What percentage of people do you think practice safe sex? The ones I know of, truthfully, I only think like 2%. I was reading an article and it told me like 25%. I to guess, but I, I would say a small percentage. Nowhere is nowhere is close to a majority of people. It's not many. Speaking on last week, my homeboy came from uh, from up north. It's actually, it's coming day again. Now we had some girls in the room back here at the hotel, and now they have protection. Uh, it's just and, and this guy here has a wife. In the United States, 68 percent of all new infections are in African American women. Seems to be, you know, I don't care who he's doing, that's my baby daddy. <laughs> you know, well, who else is your baby daddy doing? Maybe you should care. Because you know? whoever he's doing, you're doing them too. You know? If that's your baby daddy, <laughs> that means you got a baby. Don't you want to be there for your baby? Regarding HIV and AIDS, what does think positive mean to you? Think positive mean that somebody really didn't pay attention to what they was told. Cause I was always told about safe sex ever since I was 13, like I said earlier. So 
I think positive if somebody has the, the HIV vi virus. If I have sex anyway, I, I use a condom for up to a year. Then we both go get tested at the same time. People should be tested. People should practice safe sex. I mean, I'm old fashioned myself. I believe that, you know, a committed relationship is a, is a good place to start, you know. Uh, but for those that are not, I think they should protect themselves. You know? Regarding AIDS and HIV, what does Think Positive mean to you? Wear condoms. 